In this short video, I want to talk to you a little bit about the use of variables in uh, Power Automate flows. So it will be useful only for those who are starting with Power Automate. You know, for experienced developers, it, it might not be so interesting. So let's have a look at it. You know, when we create a new flow, right, we get some options here, right? There is a template, automated flow. I'm going to go with an instant cloud flow for now because this is the simplest one and uh, here I select to manually trigger flow so it means that uh, only when I press the button this flow will be created I give a flow name right uh, it could be variables usage right? and uh, I, I save it oh it tells me I get an error that at least one trigger should be used in the flow and it makes perfect sense doesn't it so this part is a trigger right um, that uh, to manually trigger a flow and it also needs one action so the action here let's have a look at variables when i look at variables I get some options here, right? So uh, increment variable, uh, append variable, initialize variable. So let's go ahead with the first possible action, which is called initialize variable. Initialize variable, it's um, you know an action uh, that uh, requires a name. So I give this variable a name. Uh, let me call it. Uh, uh, first variable and now I can select a type so these are the types of variables which are available uh, in uh, uh, Microsoft flow so it could be either boolean which returns true or false it could be an integer so it would be a number float it's a different type of number uh, string so it's just a text uh, object could be something you know like some, some kind of object or array so it's a group of uh, uh, variables like um, basically combination of uh, uh, variable values so these are the options and let me give it a boolean and uh, I can either specify the value or not specify for now I uh, will go ahead and specify it because it's a boolean variable right we have to go here when we specify a value and the expression and type false or true okay very simple basic flow now i can save it you see how it's saved because it has a trigger and um, an action and basically all this flow does I create it man uh, I trigger it manually and then it initializes a variable and gives this variable a value uh, which equals to false right uh, very simple isn't it uh, then let's have a, let's make it a little bit more complex and uh, do a next step let's create uh, a condition condition uh, and uh, this condition right uh, let uh, let's select for the condition we, we compare the value of the first variable if it equals to false right to false then you know if this condition is uh, right then we do something if this uh, condition is not right then we do not do something so in our case let me for example I can send an email send message email notification I send it to my user 
in this case. I give it a subject and I uh, send a message for the body. I can specify the condition is done successfully. Something like this, you know, just some message. Uh, the reason I'm doing all this, just to show you how you can test your flows a little bit. Uh, so now I send the condition, right? I send this email based on a condition. So when the, the, the value of our variable is equals to false, then we send an, an email, right? And uh, after that, I can um, set variable. Uh, set variable variable this is the name of our first variable and then I would change the value to true right true that way we get out from this condition uh, loop So let's test it now. Um, if I click here on the test, I click to test manually. Right, it requires me to make a new connection to this uh, mail service. I uh, run the flow, click done. Tells me that the flow ran successfully. Uh, and if I look here, you see um, it sent, it actually sent the message to this user. And if I uh, go back and go to Outlook, I see this message here, right? The condition is done successfully. Uh, the message came from um, Microsoft Power Apps and Power Automate. So this specific user and in the run history, I, I see it successfully. So um, this is one more time to summarize, right? Uh, variable in our case, we can use Boolean just for conditions to, to, to go with true or false and then uh, update this variable based on what we do. Um, and um, in order to test if our flow works or not, you know, I can uh, do some kind of action. It could be an email, uh, it could be some, some other action, uh, but um, the simplest one would be just, just a simple email. Um, and then I can also change it. What we learned is a condition option and also variable option. Uh, also variables could be different like, uh, you know, integers or flows or some, something else, but this will uh, We'll touch based on this in the next videos. For now, uh, you just get an idea that you can actually use variables within your flows and um, how to do it on, on, a, on this example, on an example uh, with a Boolean variable. So I hope it's been helpful to you. Have a great day. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.